and thank you for coming to our fifth European American Business Mixer co organized with uh, the European Chambers in town, the German, Danish, Swedish, French one, and also the San Diego Regional one. Bonjour et bienvenue à l'Euro Mixer. The topic of tonight is uh, entrepreneurs of the San Diego uh, maritime industry. San Diego has one of the largest and busiest harbors of the world. I found a uh, definition that I wanted to share with you, and interestingly, uh, it relates to entrepreneurship, which is also very nice to the maritime sector. <laughs> Fitting with the maritime sector. Then introduce our first um, speaker, Julia Rona Guerrero. <coughs> Julia has been uh, working in various positions and locations with the US Department of Commerce, International Trade Administration over the last few years. So many chambers uh, from Europe. I'm so pleased to be here this evening and thank the French, German, Swedish, Danish, and San Diego Chamber. Really and what a great collaboration, and I think you know, certainly looking at uh, the European-US trade partnership, many of our wonderful companies, who I'm also thrilled to see in this room, uh, very much look at the Europe-wide region when, when they look mm -hmm. at Europe and each of your expertise that you bring here to San Diego uh, and share with our San Diego-based clients is so valuable. So it's great that you're part of the San Diego business community and helps us be more global <coughs> as, as a community. I'm going to speak, as, as was introduced briefly, uh, about what the U.S. Department of Commerce does in helping U.S. companies export globally. And really the case study in this presentation is the marine technology sector, which I spend quite a bit of time on. Uh, but we, of course, work with all the major industry sectors here in San Diego. Biotech, IT, uh, environmental, consumer good, uh, tourism and education are all very important basis of the U.S., uh, of the San Diego. <laughs> Next speaker, um, that will be Charles Cousin. Charles is the owner and co-founder of Bellamare, Bellamare, as we would say in good old German. <laughs> um, a San Diego-based company. Bellamare produces subsea engineering services with a focus on design and sales of remotely operated boat vehicles. In addition, um, Bellamar is actively involved in the development of state-of-the-art analysis software to identify and count marine organisms. <laughs> industry for about six, seven years, and I was just wrapping up the project, the Mixery product, which is on the left hand side there. I was finished playing with a little submarine, and I have a good friend of mine that calls me, and he says, you know what, I've got something great on the bench. I think it would really change the way we do our science at the University for Biology Oceanographers. Guess what, I have no idea how to play on the water, and I've got $12,000, you want to do it? Stupidly enough, to do it. Uh, Omar Kuroi, who is director of navigation product lines at Teradyne Art uh, D Instruments. Um, he will give us his perspective from a slightly different point of view. It's more his experience in maintaining leadership and expanding the company's success uh, from here in the United States. So Charles and I came to California 15 years ago from Florida Institute of Technology. We worked for the same company for a very brief period of time. And he went down on his path and I went down on my path. And tonight our paths cross again. And so perhaps we can send a copy of this video to FIT and say, hey, look, <laughs> you've, you've had some good, um, some, some good um, graduates. Anyway, okay, so um, what I was asked to really speak about today was give you an overview of the company that I represent this evening. Um, talk a little bit about how we got there, and more importantly, perhaps how you know what we're doing to grow in the European market. And one of the advisors said, you know, it'd be really nice if you could uh, 
talk to us a little bit about you know what was the core of your success uh, as you were going from a small business to a larger business. And so I'm going to try and talk to those. those kinds of things. President of the Maritime Alliance here in San Diego. So for those of you that are still in the room, you're the diehards. You really <laughs> care about maritime technology. Um, we are the people that are organizing the San Diego maritime technology community. And uh, we have worked with a number of the chambers. Uh, last year at one of our events, we had people there from Australia, Canada, France, Finland, Mexico, New Zealand, UK, United States. So we reach out around the world. Um, trying to help the companies here in San Diego um, so that they can find partners in other countries. We're, par we're all about building the ecosystem. And so we work with the SBA, with Julia Rauner Guerrero from the <coughs> Commercial Service. And we have a couple of events coming up. If you are, since you've sat through the last two hours, uh, you might be interested in knowing some more about what's going on in San Diego. Um, we'll have the SBA there, we'll have the Governor's Office of Economic Development. All these are people that, if you care about the maritime technology industry in San Diego, um, we are the ones that are organizing that community. So we've got some flyers in the back, and Bill Reedy, who's our executive director, is over there. Bill, raise your hand, please. And I'm the president. We'd love to answer questions for you. The companies that are here, Charles said it correctly, this is an international business. And the companies that we deal with here in San Diego have to be looking internationally. So we try and help them with that, and uh, we'd love to work with all of you. This is David Velasco with the Marine Technology Society. Did you have a good time tonight? Uh, absolutely. Uh, San Diego is certainly a hub for uh, maritime technology, and it is unknown to a lot of people the number of uh, companies uh, and people that we have here in San Diego that work in this industry. And we, as uh, uh, the Marine Technology Society of San Diego section, are trying to always foster that relationship uh, with the companies in the outside world. Uh, and yeah, so it's been a great, uh, great venue here for us, and uh, certainly looking forward to the next one. This is Bill Reedy, the executive director of the Maritime Alliance. Did you have a nice time tonight? Oh, we had we had a very nice time. It was uh, good to see Charles get up there and talk. Uh, Charles has um, been a strong supporter of what we're doing at the Maritime Alliance, and of course we are you know thrilled with the success that he's had. So I just learned from um, the president of your organization that you you do a lot for the sustainability of the oceans, right? We do. We um, we you know fundamentally we, our, our tagline is promoting the maritime community. We specifically focus on the high technology sector of the of the industry, promote the economic opportunities and business opportunities that exist using technology in the ocean, but we promote uh, their use as you know sustainable use of the ocean. So I think that's really important. Great. Well, we look for we're looking forward to attending. Your dinner soon. It's Excellent. at the end of the month, right? It is. Okay, November 29th. Good. Well, I'll see you there. Okay, great. <laughs> My name is Philip Saita. I work at the Swedish American Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I had a wonderful time. It was very fun. Interesting to meet all these people here. Uh, interesting topic. God kväll. Kom gärna och besök Svenska Handelskammaren i San Diego och träffa oss och prata om event och affärer. Tack. Uh, Hej, ni är mycket välkomna att komma till uh, vår nästa European Business Mixer, um, vilket kommer att vara i februari. Och uh, hoppas att se då. Okej, hi, I'm Samson. Uh, I am an intern at the German American Chamber of Commerce. Um, a little bit intimidating, but uh, I like the event. I learned a lot about the real world and how the industry works. So, yeah, I definitely would come back to another one. I think it's always interesting how the European Chamber opens my mind to new products and economies in San Diego. I didn't know about the maritime industry employing 25,000 San Diegans. What was it, $7 billion uh, industry? Very interesting. I'm in education. I produce lawyers. That's my commodity product. Lawyers, service, companies. Maritime's a good, you know, a good market for us. So I have to admit, not on my radar screen now it is. Very, very happy with it tonight uh, at our first Euro-American mixer about the maritime industry. There was such a great audience that represented the maritime industry so well. It was a true honor to uh, actually be able to present in front of everybody. I do believe that the French-American Chamber of Commerce have particularly well led the effort and uh, I'm very glad that uh, we are all together able to put uh, events that have uh, so meaningful in terms of content, in terms of attendance, and in terms of great networking. 
it, we put it in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a winner. What is no, 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 no. I get to I get to hang out with the Swedes at their next mixer. And Elsa picked out my card. The fact that I was a former treasurer of the French American Chamber had nothing to do with winning. <laughs> you know, I enjoyed this European American mixer so much. It was a nice crowd, and we brought some things across, I think, and that's the value of this whole event. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss, tschüss. Thank you. I have had a really good time tonight and I have met lots of new friends and have an interesting discussion and it's been amazing. So I could actually stay here for a more couple of hours, but I think it's time to leave soon. Yes, it was very informative and it was wonderful to meet the international community and uh, look forward to coming back again to the Chamber. My name's Sally Adderton and I'm on the Board of Directors of the German American Chamber of Commerce in California. I flew down from the Bay Area today because I knew this is where I needed to be. It's nothing like the power of presence and bringing together decisions.